Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the recap. Today is Monday, July 6th, and uh, I want to go over my trades. So, just like every day, today it was the same routine, and I want to pull up my scanner here. So, these were the stocks for gapping up. So, the stocks that I was actually watching was AYRO, LMFA. Uh, Rose, ROICU, SOLO, MYO, BLNK. Okay. Now, look what happened to AYRO. It obviously had a good run, right? So they did a offering and the stock tanked. So this is actually common, right? You, you'll see a trend usually uh, of offerings happening back to back and then it'll stop and then happening again back to back. So. Uh, yeah, so this is why you have to be careful when you're trading later in the day because this is this can happen, right? So this stock tanked from 760 all the way to 577. So people lost a good chunk of money. That's why you got to be careful. You got to take your profit when you have it. Um, so yeah, let's go over uh, the stocks I traded today. So today I traded... Actually, let's go here. So if you look at this side of the screen, right? I'm actually up 267 today on the day. And I traded WTRH, SOLO, and AYRO. So WTRH, I got in at 367 and I got at 370. This was actually a red to green move that barely happened and I got out quick. So this was around this area, right? So I got in for the red to green move uh, around this area right here for the pop-up and it failed level two was looking weak so i got out made you know some change not bad right but later on the stock went up and did pretty well um and then next we have ayro i got in at 496 and then got out 481 for a loss and then i bought again at 488 got out you know as a scratch trade so let's check that out uh I believe this was for a recovering VVAP strategy, which was around this area right here. Um, I actually got in um, and then it failed. So we had this dump down. That's why, you know, I got out and then took another trade thinking it'll pop up and it didn't. So it failed. So that was that on AYRO. And then eventually what happened was i got in again at 496 then got out at 510 bought again no bought at 496 bought at 510 then got out at 509 right so this was this area right here uh this part right here so i got in again when i saw it's coming up trying again i got in again so first time it failed and i got in again and worked out so that was a good move and the solo you know, I got in at 437 and got sold at 439, you know, chump change, but whatever. And then got in again at 505, sold at 506, again, tiny profit. But the, sorry, that was AYRO, it didn't work out, right? But then SOLO, I got in again at 450 for the, and also 450 is a half dollar resist, resistance, psychological resistance. And then I got out at 457. I also bought again at 459 and 458, but anything after that was scratch trades, almost. Um, but let me show you the big one I had on SOLO was at 450, which was this area right here for this for the break of this inflection point, which was higher of day. And also again, 450 is a psychological resistance. That's why it was a major deal. Um, so if we continue. Up AYRO next, I bought at five and then scratch trade again. Bought at five, then sold at 498. Then I think I bought 200 shares, or I got partial fill on, on this. Then got at 499, and then I bought again at 505 and then sold at 513. The rest at 535. So this was the major move today for me. AYRO, which was around, I believe, uh, this area right here. I sold all on the way up. I actually got in up around this area. Uh, no, I sold my big uh, my last 
position over here and I got in around this area right here 505 and I sold some at the high of uh, 545 or I think that was my um, last position there so that was a good trade but obviously the stock took off but again like I said earlier look what happened I don't want to get stuck into this okay that my goal is not to cast the entire thing because I don't know what a entire ride means to a stock that could mean five cents 20 cents five dollars I don't know what that means right so i get in you know make my money and then i get out right i also like to sell 70 percent of my shares and then let the 30 percent ride as much as i can so that's what i did today so that was that overall it was a green day um definitely check out my channel to subscribe and like the videos that tells me you guys are enjoying the videos and you guys want more so that i can keep making them other than that subscribe to my twitter channel that's why i also post my watch this as well and uh ayro was straight from my watch list that i posted on my twitter and the link to my twitter will be in the description other than that i will see you guys tomorrow